We left Mitzrayim because Pesach is Manchi Rusenu. Slight nuance, but major difference. It's because when our Kaddish Baruch Hu created the world, he, he infused in this time, intrinsic to this time of Nisan, a time of Cheros. Which is why we always say that in Nisan, the Gula is going to come, right? It's a time of Gula, it's a time of redemption, a time of Cheros. This is when it happens. So there's something that's intrinsic into this specific time of year. When we come Seder night, we are not just having another Zechira for Yitzhak Mitzrayim. There is a something that is sitting on the table for us, and it is not the matzah or the mar. What's sitting on the table is, is a koach to tap into. Something that we could internalize more tonight than we could any other night of the year. That's on the table with everything else. It's not about the past. It's about the present. That's what Seder night is about. And the question is, what are we going to gain? What are we going to discover? What are we going to take away? I think this is apparent. The fact that Yitzhak Mitzrayim is not just something that was Lisha for that time, but that it's forever and ever and ever is apparent in the opening line in the Torah when it comes to um, Yitzhak Mitzrayim. It's not the Yitzia, it's the, it's the Hachnasa to Mitzrayim. But when you look at the wording, Ve'ele Shemos B'nei Yisrael, these are the names of B'nei Yisrael, Haba'im Mitzrayim. What does Haba'im mean? That are coming down to Mitzrayim. And then it ends off, Es Yaakov, Ishu Beso Ba'u. Yaakov, a man, and his household, Ba'u, they came. Right? It says these are the names of B'nai Yisrael that are coming down to Mitzrayim. Then it ends off saying, and Yaakov and his, Yaakov and, and his household came. It should be consistent all the way through. El Shemos B'nai Yisrael, Shem Ba'u Mitzrayim, that came down to Mitzrayim. Haba'im, says the name of the Melech. That the Torah we know is nitzchias. The Torah is eternal. It's not telling us a story of what happened then. But, but the story of Yitzhak Mitzrayim is a story for every single door and for every single individual in the door. Because who doesn't have a Mitzrayim? We talked about this last week. We touched on this. Everyone has a Mitzrayim. Sometimes it comes at different points in their life. Sometimes it comes, uh, uh, sometimes it, 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 it's, a, it's a constant low-level Mitzrayim. Sometimes it's a big peak, a, big, a huge challenge a person's having. And of course, us, not just as individuals, but us as a cloud. We're, we're like, we're, we're, we're living it, we're living in it. We, we, we're feeling the tsar all around the world. It's Haba'im Mitzrayim because we're always coming down to Mitzrayim. This is going to be the story of Klal Yisrael, always going in, always coming out. The ups and the downs and the ups and the downs is going to be our story. But I think what's important about the Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim and why it has to be constantly on our minds and why we have to tap into it on Seder night is because within the story of Mitzrayim is the life-long, eternal lessons of how to retain our name, how to retain our identity, how to retain our strength, our koch, our emuna in the darkest of times. That's what Yitzhak Mitzrayim is all about. It's about us being in the darkest of dark, and yet at the same time remembering to, some, to the best we can, where we didn't change our names, we didn't change our levush, we didn't change certain things, to the best of our ability, retaining who we are and not being completely lost, and in that merit being able to persevere, so to speak, and HaKadosh Baruch take us out. It's a story of every generation. We say it at the, at, the, at the Seder. It's not coincidence. We're coming down to Mitzrayim. It's every generation. Perhaps that's why we say, That every person is obligated to, to see themselves as if they came out of Mitzrayim. Why? Because it's definitely not a Zechira. It's not a remember it. It doesn't say every person should remember that we left. No, you yourself, because it's your story. You have to tap into something tonight, and you have to internalize something tonight. Because when you as an individual, or, or, or Klai Yisrael as an Am, is going to go through their Mitzrayims, so you have to have what it takes to come out. 